Hell no. Hell no! Back in spawn, you bot! No! Come back! It's on 11 minutes! Come back! Oh, oh. Ah! oh my! Come back! Please! Please come back! Okay, dude! I'm fucking jacked up! 200 milligrams, doggy! 200 milligrams of a fish oil because you need to be healthy and you need to look up for yourself, my dudes. The heart, heart, winking face, thumbs up. Can I please get a heart, heart, winking face, thumbs up in the chat? On one fateful day, I wanted to reminisce about the good times. By one day, I mean eight hours ago, I went onto the Overwatch section of Twitch to reminisce on the 300 hours of auto lock genji overwatch games banned from moxie stream i had to turn to triple digit streamers so i clicked on a random stream and there it was a woman on hitscan dps oh, oh my god no i'm kidding But anyway, then, all of a sudden, I hear something familiar. If, if you know the joke, uh, it's funny because it's gay. Oh shit, I deserve that. I, I saw it, I love it. I actually deserved I have only ever heard this level of Pepega from one other streamer. Trash, <laughs> If you showed me her content and asked me to guess her YouTube sub count, I'd say at least 100k. But surprisingly, she's only got 2,300. I wish I could do anything to give her more exposure, but I doubt this video will get more than 200 views. Some of my other shit gets 10k, 20k, but 95% of those views are from YouTube search, and unfortunately, no one is searching her name. But this video isn't without purpose. One, I really like her content. And two, this kind of serves as an ad. If 100 people share, you know, this video on social medias, it adds up. For normal people, this wouldn't work very well. Just because people see you doesn't mean they'll watch you. But her unique personality, it just captures the audience's attention so easily. But what if I told you she's not unique at all? Matter of fact, besides gender, she is a Picture perfect copy of XQC. I am 90% sure that this chick is gonna be huge one day. Her XQC personality, it's not forced. It's so natural and funny. Some people might say, uh, why watch an XQC clone when you can just watch XQC? But I'm pretty confident in saying, nowadays, no matter how long you watch XQC, you will never get this. Hell no! Back in spawn, you bot! He's just not like that anymore. That's where she comes in. She is the only place to get classic XQC. The way she talks is one of the only things she copies on purpose. Take a look at this picture. She gives off a massive amount of not necessarily social anxiety, but a reserved personality in public. Meanwhile, she has a very explosive personality on stream. XQC is the same exact way. Yet again, another similarity. You know, this picture and the lack of pictures on her Instagram give me the sense that she's someone who doesn't go out very often and maybe doesn't have a lot of friends. But she's a very specific type of person in that regard. Anytime someone doesn't have a lot of real life friends or spends a lot of time inside, people assume they're lonely. But these types of people don't really have desire for friends. They still want human contact. She probably has online friends and she talks to people in her discord sometimes. But as far as I can tell, there's not much desire beyond that, which again, XQC was the same exact way. Now, you want to know why XQC was so good? He wasn't born good. He was born 
motivated. He's good because he plays a lot of Overwatch, and that's where most people fail. Most people play one or two games and then get tilted or bored. XQC doesn't, and neither does Sun. What should I call her? Should I call her Sunny? Yo, your name's too fucking long. I'm not gonna call you this every time. It's either Sun or Sunny. Okay, Sunny. Fuck you. I mean, uh, good game. Anyways, Sunny streams Overwatch for 10 fucking hours a day. Let me put that into perspective. This is your life. Your life is split up into three segments. 24 hours divided by three, that's eight hours each in all these three segments. Most people have eight hours of sleep, eight hours of work or school, and eight hours of life. Life is free time and responsibilities. It's watching YouTube or Twitch, exercising, socializing, eating, and cleaning. She seems like she gets eight hours of sleep, maybe more. So that's 16 hours left. She streams for 10 hours. Only six hours of her day is spent not playing Overwatch or sleeping. You wanna know why? Because she has fun. And if the streamer's having fun, you're having fun. I think I was really toxic every one day. Bro, I was even toxic to Endgamer, okay? That's how down bad I am, chat. I just think I'm being a wiener to everyone. You know what I mean? I'm not being a very good streamer. Uh, Cause I'm not really having a good time. I think towards the end, like we brought it back. Like I was a lot more positive, you know? Um, I don't expect Sunny to be somebody who gets annoyed by stupid stuff. People like her usually don't let bullshit affect them. By bullshit, I mean stupid claims that you know aren't true. Like if I said I slept with your mother. People like her don't feel bad when someone says she's ass at the game. They just say fuck you and continue. Which again, XQC did too. Uh, but that's why it was so surprising when she went on this rant. Alright, wait. I don't know if I had a schizo meltdown or something and just like imagined it. But I'm 99% sure there's a clip of, of her swearing when she's talking about uh about guys saying something about women when they play Overwatch with women. And then her mom walks in and tells her to stop swearing. 90%, I'm 99% sure that's a clip, but... Listen, I made a poor decision to play Genji and have the name Seagull on Overwatch. And I'll tell you what, every single fucking game, people say something like, haha, fucking Seagull fell off. Because, I mean, admittedly, I was trash, but, you know, at first it was funny. It was funny. But I heard it again and again and again and again. Because of that... I understand how annoying it is when you get the same shit every single game, which is what women get, especially like DPS players or, or women like her who, uh, yell. It's not anyone's fault. I mean, these guys aren't monsters, but they don't understand the repetition. The worst and most annoying thing you can do when there's a woman in your game is like point out the fact that they're a girl. You know, even if you're saying something nice, there's just no reason to point it out. Just stop being a fucking simp. Just say good game and move on and don't fucking add her unless you're trying to be funny and do something funny like me because I'm very funny and then I add him and I say, let me smile your head. Uh, while we're on the topic of women, she's actually an example of a weird but good trend going on of like female versions of people. For example, Watch me get Moving on, she has a little brother who, fun fact, actually just became the youngest person ever to deadlift 300 pounds at the age of 12. His multiple other accomplishments, including an efficacy in any sport of his choosing, you know, having five girlfriends at once, and a world record Pokemon Snap speedrun. All of these overwhelming accomplishments made Sunny quite jealous. She rebelled in form of a post on Instagram. After this, she was met instantly with a wave of capital d colons fucking weird champ bitch no okay that's too far i know overall this was kind of brief but to end it off i'll say this i would love to do way more stuff like this where i talk about an underrated creator but the sad truth is there aren't very many people who are deserving of the praise that this person is so uh you know please if you know any other underrated creator just tell me down below but nonetheless it's great it remind it's the only place that I can actually get classic XQC. I've been missing it so much. I'd rate her at about like a 95%. Definitely an S tier streamer.
she doesn't have the flaws of other female streamers while at the same time keeping the positives of you know baiting the coomers she recognizes when she's toxic and she's very consistent but on the other hand Despite the fact that she plays so much, she's usually plat or diamond. She's trying to work on that with a coach, but still, some people just see that you're platinum and they leave. I like her TikTok, but it's just stream highlights. The only content on all of her social medias is Overwatch. It's just Overwatch. If you just like her and you don't like Overwatch, which is a weird thing to do, but at the end of the day, people do it. I mean, come, wait, okay. Do you really think I ever gave a fuck about XQC's point and click Winston gameplay? No, we watch him because we like him. So my advice, make a public personal social media like TikTok and post li literally anything that isn't Overwatch or stream related. You have a DDR machine, but I can't find a single video of you or your brother fucking using it. Is it your fucking bookshelf or something? I don't see any books on it. Is it a bookshelf? It's a weird concept to grasp, but these people will watch anything and appreciate everything you do, even just everyday shit. The Overwatch videos on your YouTube, YouTube channel, S tier, beyond S tier, they're great. As of writing this script, I've only looked at like three hours of her social media shit including watching her twitch streams and from that this is what i've gathered she gets about 200 concurrent viewers on twitch she gets about 500 views per video on her very underrated youtube channel she doesn't involve herself in politics at least publicly she always wears these white circular glasses on her head uh, she wears an arm brace if she keeps talking like XQC, she'll be impossible to understand within a year. Uh, she's a Platt, McCree, Tracer, and Ash main. She's a really good hit scan, uh, even though she's Platt. She says holy frog instead of holy fuck. Uh, she's going through coaching for Overwatch. When she eats food, she actually has her brother play. And it's the funniest shit ever. She lives in America. She yells. She buys stocks. I think she likes The Sims. She has a DDR machine in a room, not a pad, a full-on machine. She listens to the same techno-style music XQC does, along with lo-fi shit. She lives with her family. She has a really good relationship with her father, mother, and siblings. Her clothes look really good. Her hair is fucked up worse than Mr. Cow's, specifically her bangs. She's 15. Just kidding. She's 18. Get baited, weebs. L. Plus, you don't brush your teeth. She's hot. She's got 25k Twitch followers. She brushes her teeth. Unfortunately, she owns Funko Pops. Uh, her editors and social media managers are really good, considering how small she is. Uh, she has her editors locked in the basement. They're not allowed to leave, and they get barely any food. And last but not least, I promise she's not a man.